It's ironic that uncomfortable seats sit very comfortably atop the list of things people hate about air travel. If you're looking to snag some comfort without having to spend a whole lot, here are some tips to consider. Number one, pick airlines that offer the most legroom. According to a survey by TripAdvisor.com, nearly 40% of passengers say offering more legroom is the number one way airlines can improve their in-flight experience. Number two, know which planes have the most space. Legroom differs not only between airlines, but within the same airline, as specific jets have different configurations. Experts recommend that before booking a flight, check out SeatGuru.com which shows the specific jet and how much legroom it has. Number three, beware of regional jets. Counter says that many regional jets have less room, both by width and length, than larger jets. Number four, try to get a better seat for free. If you get to your gate early, nicely ask the gate attendant if you can move into the first row of economy class or an exit row. A lot of the time these upgrades are reserved for elite status flyers, but it never hurts to ask. Number five, understand what you should and shouldn't pay. The rate for seat upgrades varies so significantly that consumers get confused about whether they're getting a deal or not. There's no real rule of thumb on what to pay, but in general, it'll cost you between $15 and $30 for flights up to three hours, and $100 or more for longer flights. Number six, know when it's worth it to pay more. If you're taking a short flight, it's probably not worth shelling out the extra cash to upgrade your seat, but if you're in for a long flight, it might be an investment worth making. Number seven, if money is no object, still make sure you get your money's worth. If you're prepared to pay thousands of dollars to fly in lie flat seats, you should look for the ones that flip down. They have two types of surfaces, one for sitting and one for sleeping, which makes them much more comfortable.